Stop for a second. Could you imagine a Van Gogh without color? Or maybe a Kandinsky? What about a Matisse? I sure know I couldn't. Although how humans see colors depend on a variety of factors, and not all humans can see the same array of colors since there are different visual impairments, they still make up a great part of our lives. They can change our mood or alert us of possible danger, but how do we even see them? Hello guys, it's Lexi Limitless, and today we are going to go through 10 amazing facts about color with Google Arts and Culture. If we are going to talk about colors, the first question we should ask ourselves is, what is color? If you study physics, you might already know the answer to this question, but for my peeps out there that still don't know, I got you. Well, objects don't contain color themselves. It's when light hits an object that some wavelengths are absorbed and turned into heat, and others are reflected. The reflected wavelengths are what we perceive as color. Since light is a part of the electromagnetic wavelengths, the human eye is only able to detect a very small fraction of them. These visible wavelengths that the human eye can detect are all found within the sunlight, except for infrared and ultraviolet light, which we haven't evolved to detect yet. Phew, that was a bit too much to cover, but since we have that down, let's keep going. Did you know that the sun rays contain all of the colors of the rainbow mixed? This mixture is known as white light. When the light is directed into a prism, it gets separated, revealing colors we can see, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Rainbows are created the same way when white light hits water droplets in the sky. When it comes to nature, it never ceases to amaze me. Many desert animals like the scimitar oryx have white fur which has evolved to reflect heat away from the body. All of this occurs because nature has evolved to take advantage of the heat absorption and reflection that occurs through the absorption of colors. Okay, so we already know what color is, how a rainbow is formed, and how nature has evolved thanks to color but we still don't know how do we see color. Well, the human eye has a retina that contains photoreceptor cells called cones. Humans have three types of cones sensitive to the colors red, blue, and green. When the cones receive light, they work together to sense the combination of light waves. Then, the visual cortex receives the information and translates it so we can see millions of colors. However, how are we able to distinguish 10 million colors when we only have three photoreceptors? Well, my friend, the answer lies in color mixing. There are two ways to do this through additive and subtractive color mixing. Additive color mixing is used to make colors displayed on screens. It combines a black background with red, blue, and green to create a full color image, while subtractive, used for printing, combines a white background with yellow, magenta, and cyan to create black. Not every species can see as we do. This has mainly to do with each species' photoreceptors. For example, dogs only have two cones, blue and yellow. Therefore, they cannot see red and green objects. Meanwhile, mantis shrimps are known to have the greatest eyesight of any known animal because they have 16 photoreceptors, including the ones humans can see. But what's crazier than that is they can also see ultraviolet light, polarized light, and circular polarized light. Amazing, right? But why can't humans perceive colors as well as a mantis shrimp? 
Scientists around the world have two theories that attempt to explain why humans see different colors from other species. The first theory has to do with the colors of food. They believed that we evolved our color vision to spot colorful fruit. However, many other primates that also rely on fruit as their main source of food don't see colors the same as humans, causing scientists to reconsider this theory. Their second theory has a lot to do with our sensitivity with red. A new scientific theory suggests that our ability to see red in particular may be linked to recognizing sickness in other humans as well as helping with communication, thus alerting us of possible danger or communicating through body response certain moods. And on the topic of colors and moods, although most of its evidence is anecdotal, since our perceptions of colors are often subjective, scientists have made several universal discoveries around the psychology of color. For example, warm colors can evoke feelings of warmth, comfort, anger, or hostility, while cool colors are often described as calm or sad. With our last fact, I can guarantee that you'll leave this video as a color expert. Do you know what is the term used in color theory for color? The term is called hue, and it's the attributes of colors that permits them to be classed as red, yellow, green, blue, or an intermediate between any contiguous pair of these colors. In other words, the pure pigment. There are 12 colors on the color mixing wheel, three primary, three secondary, and six tertiary colors. By mixing them, we can create an infinite number of hues. After these 10 facts, I understand even more about color and the importance of it. Although not always obvious, colors have played a substantial role in how we perceive life. Color vision is a trait that keeps on giving, a skill from the past that still empowers us in the present. Now that we know the importance of color in our everyday, we can take the steps to ensure it's always present in our lives. 